ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of the viral podcast i'm your host chelsea lynn and i'm your host Paige jen and i want to let everybody know that you know obviously maggie's here um brett is not here so i have set the 10 minute timer oh you did so i just did okay i've set the 10 minute timer maggie's got a uti she made a hop off and and go use the bathroom Mm -hmm. during this pod who knows Ooh, that's the worst feeling ever man yeah um, so Sorry we got we, that. we got that timer down and so far we're 30 seconds in and we've done really good. <laughs> well, I have something that could, uh, take up some minutes so we don't swear. Okay. Well, can I, Hey, like, can I announce a little bit of tour dates first? That's what it was. <laughs> Freaking dummy. <laughs> I almost swore at you. All right, guys, I am currently on tour next week. I'll be in Bloomington, Illinois. By the time of this taping, that show is almost sold out. So... Hop on that. You snooze, you lose. And then uh, that's March 1st. And then uh, March 2nd, I will be in Marion, Illinois. And then March 4th through the 6th, Nashville, Tennessee, down there at Zaney's. Come see me. And then I'm hitting up Huntsville, Alabama, March 7th through the 9th. And then Cary, North Carolina, the 15th through the 17th. Come see me. Get your tickets at eatmytrash.com. And then after that, guess what? The cruise, baby. That's right. Tammy's pontoon party. (laughs) There are still some cabins left. Um, I would hop on there and skim through and see if you can find a deal, okay? If you're wanting to come and you've been putting that off, that's coming up. Um, That is March 22nd through the 23rd. We leave uh, out of Miami to the Bahamas for three days. We're filming the Vowra podcast on the cruise. Yeah, live pod. Our first live podcast Our ever. Our first live podcast. I'm nervous. We have so I'm much so planned excited. on the cruise. We've got um, activities during the day. Paige is going to be doing stuff. Maggie's going to be doing stuff. Greg will be there. Everyone will be there. Libby. Um, what the whole else? whole accoutrement of humans. A whole thing. I'm I'm supposed to be filming my very first special on the cruise. You know, we'll we'll see how that goes. If that's still in talk, so who knows who knows about that? But you guys. This this may be a once in a lifetime. We we may do another cruise. We don't know. But if we don't, this is it. Tammy's pontoon party dot com. Get your cabin and come see us. Get your cabin. Get to typing. Get to clicking. <laughs> get to clicking. Get to and clicking because it's gonna be a wild it's, boat ride. It's gonna be f- wild and fun. You think anybody's gonna fall off the boat? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? It happens. No, not on Tammy's pontoon party. No, it is very, I, we've already, man, I've had so many meetings with these people about just everything and safety and everything. Um, and then also, God, there was something else about the, the cruise I wanted to say. Oh, there is a um, Facebook group dedicated to the cruise, everyone going on the cruise. Oh, my God. And I'm not a part of it. I need to hop on there. And Six Man is the company that's like, putting it on providing type of thing. the cruise kind of and th- every time we have a meeting they like tell me things that are going on in the facebook group and they're like chelsea this is like people are already talking about like threesomes and what, <laughs> and what cabins are staying in and who wants to hook up with who <laughs> like Pe- what yeah <laughs> people are gonna come back with a little uh Herp, herp. Well, you know, that's well, life. Some, um, that's yeah. life. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got it. You, <laughs> you know, you yeah. know what I mean? Who cares? You know? So if life throws you holes, you gotta f- me- you gotta mess around with you them. Gotta around. <laughs> you Ooh, gotta mess around with them. You gotta dig in them and see what's going on. Hey, four minutes in and I almost lost I almost slipped it, but I came back. <clears throat> I tra- yeah. You came back. I came back. Oh, swearing. Why did it just overcome our life? Well, here's the thing. I don't even care if we swear the first 10 minutes because I I personally truly don't care about about being monetized on YouTube. Me either. To what? Make a few hundred bucks a month? Here's my thing. It's become funny to me that we try not to cuss in the first 10 minutes. And it's almost kind of a, like, it's a hard thing to do. It's very... So it's kind of a goal if we can ever get past it. Self-discipline. Mm-hmm. 
Because other than the first 10 minutes of this podcast, I have no self-discipline in any aspect of my life. Thinking about what you're going to say before you say it. Because I do whatever I want. When you want. When I want, how I want it, all the time. What uh, is something you would do right now if we weren't filming? Ooh, okay. If we weren't filming right now, I'd be laying in bed, and I probably would have knocked two out already. Yeah, you probably would have maybe still been sleeping and just waking up. Probably, because we are, well, I say say we're getting an early start, but it's noon. (laughs) We've been doing stuff. We've been pre-potting. We've been up for a while. We've been up for a while. We've been up. Yeah, what would you be doing? mm, Probably laying on my couch or trying to do some laundry. Playing with clots. Yeah, playing with some clots. I've been unpacking, I feel like, for a couple months. Like, I can't get my laundry up to date. Yeah. Um, just put it in the washer. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in the washer. <laughs> no, there's so many loads, dude. Yeah, oh, you love loads. I have something we can talk about. What? Though. So, me and Chelsea, we stayed... Oh, this might make you swear. Should we wait, though, and maybe ask Maggie about her UTI, and we'll come back whenever I can swear? Yeah, how's we T.I.? Have, we have doing? four minutes till we can swear. How's T.I.? Maggie, this is your first T.I.? This is my first UTI, I think. UTI. Because... I told Beth, I was like, this is some of the worst pain. I've never had one. And it hurt so bad. It was my back. It was like my kidneys. I was laying in the floor crying yesterday. So no pain in your urethra? No, it's not burning or nothing down there. It's like then, straight then you, kidney. No. Then you got then you, you got, got back, kidney failure. Then you got back pain. <laughs> no, you, you don't, don't swear. A, you don't have a UTI. You got back. <laughs> yeah, you have a kidney problem. What? Maybe go get no, your kidney No, because I can't check. pee. Hmm? So I think it is a UTI. I don't know what it is, but interesting. I, thought I did I, the WebMD thing, and yeah. I typed in all the symptoms, and she was like, okay, you have a UTI. Huh. And so she sent me some antibiotics. Beth went and picked those up for me. Interesting. You know what helped me when I thought I had a UTI? is pure cranberry juice, no sugar. Yeah. It's so tart, yeah. but you have to get it down, and you'll just feel a sense of relief. Because when I had it, is it a UTI when you constantly feel like you have to pee yeah but you can't yeah and well sometimes just little trickles yeah. come out mm-hmm. did you get but, cranberry juice yeah but beth brought me some it's not the pure oh then that you won't do it it says no sugar on the front mm-hmm. no but then mm-hmm. i look on the back and it's got 23 grams of sugar oh. no uh-uh. no and i'm like it has to you'll know by one little taste that it's pure i need that trader joe's yeah cranberry juice it'll be tart Ooh, I love tart, but not that tart. Well. Well, what? Malt tart? No, no, I'm looking at the timer. <laughs> the timer. <laughs> the timer. Okay, we, let's find a cute little timer that we can put right here we that doesn't make noise. So everyone really so everyone one. that watches can watch the timer, too. Mm-hmm. So if anybody knows where we can get a timer like that. Well, we can probably Amazon. Just, yeah, we can probably just Google it. There's timers that'll pop up. You need like a countdown. Uh, yeah. Yes. A countdown. Wow. Yes. So we're eight minutes exactly in. So we have two minutes left till we can say the words we want to say. Oh, I can't wait to say the words I, I want to say. What's your favorite swear word? I mean, I probably Don't say I won't, it, Oh, I won't. I'm, I'm, I'm in the mental space of being okay. good right now. I will. I pro- I'll probably say the F word more than any other word. Yeah. I would say. The F word and MF. Oh, yeah. And I also like saying, uh, I also like, um, uh, like my new favorite one, how do, I can probably say it, or should I wait? Just wait. Okay, you're I'll, almost done. Okay, I'll, then I'll yell it out in a minute and a half. My new favorite one. Okay. It's probably not even that bad, but I used to say it a lot, and I feel like I, I need to bring it back. Yeah, I'm bringing swear words back. <laughs> Stop yeah, it, yeah. Gary. You what's your favorite swear word? Don't know how to act. I got another minute, mommy. I can't say it. Gary's here. Gary's joining us on the pod today. Thanks, Gary. Thank yeah. you, Gary. So, um... Listen, we have some stuff we want to say, but we want to get the swear words out of the way, so we have uh, we have 50 seconds, so we're going to wait and get into all our stuff. What? So now your podcast <laughs> doesn't start to 10 minutes in? I'm just going to skip to 10 minutes. No, we've started. We started 10 minutes ago. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> um, what's your favorite Drake song? I don't have one. Maggie? I couldn't tell you one Drake song. But I do say start it every once in a while. (laughs) There was a point in time when I would drive to college 
and for some reason, I would blast his song, Energy. I don't even know which one. How's that go? I got energy, got a lot of energy, got a lot of... Never heard it in my life. Mm -mm. No. Hmm. Never heard it in my life. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Hold me now. Ten, Ten, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, you you rat bastard! You piece of shit rat bastard! Rat rat bastard! Rat bastard! (laughs) Fuck you! Fuck you, chomp heads! Oh Oh, man, God, God. that feels so good. I fucking love swearing. (laughs) <laughs> it feels so oh, good. It feels good to be back. So fucking. Okay. Oh. What what feels better? Not being able to swear for a while and then yelling "fuck you" or having a hard nut. Gosh, here lately that ten minutes is really hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna, but a hard nut, nothing yeah, beats a nothing hard beats. nut. I can't think of one thing. When your pussy pulsates. Oh, well, nothing's better. When you know you can feel your like gooch kind of oh. Rick flaring. <laughs> Gross. It does that. I love how the first ten minute we were angels and now we're talking about pulsating pussies. Pulsating, pulsating. pussies. Oh, we need a damn band. Okay, so this is what fucking pissed me off. Go ahead. Go ahead. You were probably mad. What? When we stayed at an Airbnb for like a week <sighs> straight and wouldn't it be courteous of the Airbnb people to let us know that they're doing construction pretty much on the house we're staying in yeah. every morning starting at 7 a.m. Yeah. Pounding. And you just hear just 7 a.m. Pounding. 10 men just out there talking. I opened my eyes one morning and one guy was just right there at my window. Yeah. I mean, yeah. isn't that a little... Like, hey, uh, just to let you know, we've got construct. Yeah, that would have been nice, but it was... I had earplugs. It only, it only really woke me up one morning. I should have gave you some of my earplugs. It was every morning. Yeah. What were they doing? Just hammering. And they were building a garage in the backyard. Oh, God. And... Um, Ten feet away from our window. Literally. Because, you know, in L.A., all those yards are small. Yeah. And literally, it 10 feet away. I we didn't say anything, but I would if I was an Airbnb owner, I that's something I'd mention. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but Paige and I just got back from LA. We had a great time. We um, we did a lot of uh, we did a uh, pod merch photo shoot. Um, so that was fun. Um, we ooh, let me t- let me tell them the story. Uh oh, what story? We met David Spade. We shook his hand. We shook his hand and jacked him off. Yeah, we fucked him. <laughs> uh, but after we fucked him, uh, we were just so, we were just so tripped out on life. Like, what the hell? You grow up seeing these people on TV screens or in Joe Dirt, and then you shake their hand. Yeah. So what happened was we went to the comedy store um, to see Theo and Ari, our friends Theo Vaughn and Ari, who opens for him, and. Um, we were there. We were kind of setting, kind of by like the green room, the backstage door, and uh, the show had just started. And Whitney Cummings just walks, oh, just yeah. walks right by us. And I'm like, and it's dark. She didn't see us. And I'm like, wait, I'm like grabbing her, and she comes and sets by us. And I knew that David Spade was there because he was on the the list of performers, the lineup. And I said, and I know they're friends. And I said, uh, I go, Whitney, we want to meet Spade. And Damn, she, I didn't know you said I all did. that. You didn't know this? I go, Whitney, we want to meet Spade. As soon as she sat down, I go, Whitney, we want to meet Spade. Spade. And she, because that's what they call him. <clears throat> and I go, she goes, okay, let me text him. So she's texting him. Long story short, she sits there with us for, uh, for like 20 minutes. He, Spade comes out, does his set or whatever, hilarious, and then uh, walks out after his set. The show's still going on. There's people on stage. Mm-hmm. So we're like, you know, we're. You have to be quiet, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk during... Because people talk during my set. Guess what I'm doing? Getting mad. I'm stopping the show, and I'm saying, uh, shut up. Shutty! Okay? So we were kind of telling Whitney, like, no talky. Whitney was talking. We're like, no (laughs) talky. And she was being so loud, probably. (laughs) Oh. So, uh, and then all of a sudden, I'm I'm sitting there, and David Spade walks up, walks straight to our table, and Whitney stands up, and and I didn't want to stand up and cause a scene, you know? Because, you know, we're right there kind of by the, you know. Anyway. And it's David Spade. 
it's David Spade. So I go, um, she goes, uh, David, this is my friend Chelsea, very funny comedian. And I just went to go shake his hand thinking like I was just going to be like, oh, nice to meet you. And he'd be like, nice to meet you and then walk off. He leans down for a hug and hugs me and whispers, nice to meet you, sweetheart. And then I had a I had a pretzel right in front of me. He goes, nice to meet you, sweetheart, and then gets up and goes, ooh, pretzel, and then walks off. It and I go, was so funny. I go, that is so David Spade. Mm-hmm. Ooh, pretzel, and walks off. Mm-hmm. He, yeah, he he's just fucking funny, like, all the time, and very yeah. nonchalant funny. Big time. That's what makes him Very hilarious. nonchalant funny. Mm-hmm. So we met David oh. Spade, so that was, that was a... Uh, that was a little highlight of the trip. Yeah, and also there were some, like, go, what do you call them? What? Some followers and sitting in front of us that we took a picture with. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, we're always on here saying, be quiet, don't talk in shows. And then Whitney shows up and we're just like, oh, gosh, we're probably being hypocrites right now. Because Whitney was literally showing us videos of her giving birth <laughs> as the stand-up comic was I know. up. But and- guess, guess who wasn't talking? Me. <laughs> She'd talk to me, and I'd just look at her, and I'd just look back at the stage. <laughs> you don't talk during comedy shows. You don't. She's I, you don't. So it's wild. it's so rude. You you don't. You know. You laugh. You you know. But to have a full blown conversation at your table is so rude, because people on stage can hear you. You know what I mean? So yeah. So no, she was sh- she was showing us. I love her to death though, but she was showing us birthing videos of a baby coming out of her vagina. Yeah. And I would look at it, and then just be like. And then look back at the stage. Yeah. So. It was during our friend's set, though, and he said he couldn't hear. So cool. that's cool. always cool. That's always good. Yeah, that's yeah. always good when you can't hear people talking. That would confuse the shit out of me. If I was trying to do stand-up and people were talking. You you can't think. You can't you can't focus on what you're doing. And then what, it's I'm telling you, it's not. The, I would think I'd just stand there and stare at them. And I have. I've stopped a show and stood right in front of them and just looked. <laughs> And they'll go, and they'll go, sorry. <laughs> and I go, you done? Oh, my God. I will. I will, man. Well, there's a time and place for it. There's a time during my show where I, I stop the stand-up and I, and I mess with the crowd. Mm-hmm. That's the time to talk. You know yeah. what I mean? But if Just I'm, wait. Yeah. Um, can I read a Can I read a, um, a DM? Then this is not DM of the day, but we can do DM of the day. Yeah, let's just do DM of the day then. Okay. Then What's gonna, the DM for the day, honey? Oh, I'll we'll tell you. What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh. Okay, so I have my regular DM of the day, and then I have a DM I want to read that a rock fucker sent in. Okay. So I guess I have two, but I wanted to read it separate. Okay. All right, do it. Um, this uh, guy named Ted on Facebook says, show me them... Big ass boobs and fat baseball pussy lips. <laughs> Dude, that is, I've never heard that. And I was like, how does he know I have baseball pussy lips? <laughs> ba- what does that even mean? Like a baseball glove? I'm, I'm don't thinking know. of it. I'm thinking two baseballs on each side with the lips. <laughs> I've never heard that in my life. I don't know. I love it. Imagining it. I and like I almost it. wanted to show him my baseball pussy lips. Hey, I was like, he's almost got me. Dude. Yeah. Let, let me paint your pussy lips as baseballs. Please. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that's always fun. Let's send him back a pic. Yeah. Okay. You want to go ahead and read your DM, and then I'll get to the rock fucker one? All right. This guy said, I'm jerking off to your toes right now. And then he said, I would suck my cum off of your toes. Whoa. Gnarly. That he straight up just s- s- typed that out and said, yeah, this is it, and s- push send. Oh, gosh, toes. People love toes. We know that. The toes goes, but... We know that. But I wonder why they are different from fingers, because is it the nubs? Yeah, that is true. Why don't people love hands and fingers and sucking they, on... They do love fingers, yeah. some, but like I feel like toes are more yeah. prominent and sexual. I have no idea. Those were two good DMs. Um, I'm going to read some. And listen. That was just one. Oh, you have another one? No, that was just one DM from the same guy. Oh, I got you. Um, And you guys can always DM us if you have a question. Like, you don't have to call in. You know what I mean? Like, you can always DM us a question. You can always just anything. Um, 
But um, I had this guy named Nicholas send me a DM and he said, hey, me and my wife are huge fans. We watch every podcast. And I, and I just wanted you to know I was eating her pussy and made her squirt for the first time in her life. Hell yeah. We really hope this makes it on next week's podcast. We will laugh our ass off. LOL. She told me to do better and I did better. Hell yeah. That's what life's about. Changing and actually doing better. And you're making her squirt. And Whoa. she said, hey, man, do better. And guess what he did? He did better. He made her whole produce some fluids. And I love that he was so proud that he wanted me to know that. That actually made me happy. Mm-hmm. Changing. Like, like he's, even... he's been a better person because of the yeah. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Like you think somebody would be like, oh, why would I want to know about? No, I want to know about your squirts. I want to know if you did better. I want to know these things. Well, if you want to know so much, then maybe figure out if squirt is pee or just... It's not pee. Perfuma stuff. It's not pee. What is it? It's squirt. Like the drink? <laughs> no, but that, not. that is a good That is a good drink. No, and we're going to mm-hmm. get a thousand people. <gasps> Tilty, squirt it pee. <laughs> <laughs> And listen, it's not. I've pissed and I've squirted. They're two different things. How how are we for sure? I mean, we're not, but it's just scientifically proven, kind of. Yeah. Maybe by the color. I don't know. I personally don't think it. What came out of me was not pee, it Hmm. was like a clear water liquid. It's like water. It's just water. I would like to know, like, how come with all this technology in the world, we can't even figure out if squirt is piss or discharge? Squirt is not discharge. Well, not actually discharge, but, <laughs> but some sort some, of some sort of charge that's coming yeah, out. Some sort of charge. I don't know, y'all. It stays moist down there. There's lots of things that that go in and out, and it's just one of the wonders of the world. Yeah. Who knows? Hey, we went to In and Out. Since you just said that, we did, and I don't like In and Out, but I, we went to In and Out. If you got a Flying Dutchman, it's when the onions are grilled on each Mm -hmm. side. And can I just say this? I eat, okay, I will post a lot of TikToks on my vlog TikTok of me like eating or tasting things or whatever. And people like TikTok loves food content. They love food vlogs of you going to a restaurant. They love eat. Like that is like my number one most requested video. Okay. Is mukbang style? Is anything food, cooking, eating, food reviews. And if I don't do one for a couple weeks, I mean, I get DMs from people. What do you, you know, like they love it. So I assumed like an idiot that Facebook would like it too. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Wrong crowd. Boy, was I fucking dumb for thinking that. Wrong crowd. You post a picture, post a video of you eating on on, uh, Facebook and see what happens. I mean, the amount of pure hate. I'm going to do it. (laughs) For eating was astronomical and mind boggling. Mm -hmm. The amount of, I mean, go through my last couple eating videos on Facebook and you will be dumbfounded at how mad and angry I made people. Why? By eating. I need to go read all that. By eating. Yeah. It's just. And you, you think know. people hate fat people? Post post a picture, post a video of you eat, <laughs> eating a flying Dutchman, and let me tell you, they'll let you know about it. I think it was gnarly. People get upset too because if you eat, they're like, "Well, what about the people who can't eat?" Or the you I, know, I got that. It, that comments on that. Yeah, and then that can't eat, it, it, yeah. Maggie. It just. Or, you know, <laughs> go people, read. People, <laughs> you're just trying to eat an uh, In N Out burger and then, you know, you see Free Palestine. And oh, then uh, yeah. So you t- just can't win. No matter what you post. So I'm going to keep the, uh, I'm either going to keep the, the food stuff on TikTok or I'm just going to say, fuck you guys and just post more of me, myself eating. So I'll probably do that. I just want you to do that. Yeah. You just do more and yeah. every post needs to be Carl's Jr., <laughs> <Yeah>. McDonald's. <laughs> All the chains. Not saying a word, just eating. Just eating. 
Gosh, the Bojangles, you know what? The, I don't know about that place. I hate Bojangles. I've never eaten there. I wanted to do that one next. It's good if you're really hungry and haven't ate in a while, but... Uh, I take that back. They have these biscuits that are good, but besides that, I'm not... I'll never stop just for the fun of it. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's not a fun place to just stop. <laughs> no, I'd rather, I'd rather stop anywhere else. Yeah, golly. Fuck, should we, um, dude, should we answer a call? Let's or? answer a call. We got some other stuff coming up, but let's do a call and then just go, yeah, we can do whatever. We do whatever we want. Do you smell that? Did you, did you fart? The beans. Oh. <laughs> did you fart? Maybe. Maybe. Maggie, roll that beautiful <laughs> bean footage. In a few months, I'm expected to be a groomsman in this wedding. And my ex-wife is probably going to be in, in attendance because she was one of our very best friends a long time ago. I'm now with someone else. She is now married again. How do I approach this situation? I mean, do I give her a hug? I, it seems very awkward to me. Any help is appreciated. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Malt Licky baby. Malt oh. Awkward baby. Is he okay? Malt X. <laughs> um, Listen. He's he's uh, tripping out about this one. Well, I think I would be too. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That, that has to be so fucking awkward i guess it depends on how your relationship with your ex ended true because true I, like if you had kids together or if you don't or whatever the hell or if you just haven't seen each other since mm -hmm. you divorced i mean just kind of feel the vibes and mm -hmm. i say just go to that wedding and be the best human you can be and just be right with yourself and if the time feels right just give her a damn hug and just be a good human yeah, I, d I definitely think that they haven't, t I mean, I, it's clear that they haven't had any communication since the divorce. That's what I'm assuming. Um, I would be so nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'd be so nervous. I, per okay, if the, if, if it ended good and in a good spot, I'd probably just, well, if, if I saw him, be like, hey, you know, hey, how are you? Good. And, and keep it at that. If it ended weird or not good or whatever, I personally would try to avoid the entire night, I the think. The whole last wedding, like, just be on the other side of the room. Well, think about it. You're not going to talk to everybody at that wedding. Yeah. So just add one more person to your list. Just keep your distance, I guess. But if it ended good, I think I think it'd be fine. Just a quick, like, hey, how are you? You know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he's worried about his new, his new wife or, like, the new husband of his ex, like... That makes it even more awkward. Yeah, yeah, and how big the wedding is, all of it comes into factor. But you know, just just be yourself and yeah. just don't let it eat at you too much. Bro, you're not gonna get out of this awkward situation. You're not. So just just live it and live the best. Like in my head, I would just be thinking, okay, this is like a story to tell her. Mm -hmm. You know, I make shit a movie in my head if it's gonna be too awkward. Dude, and she's probably thinking the exact same thing. You know she is. She's, she's like, like, do I fucking hug I this know. guy? I know. Does my new husband shake his hand? Right. Are they going to give a bro hug? Right. Are they oh. going to be like, hey, I fucked your <laughs> wife? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's, a that's, that's a situation that you can't control. You just have to go. It has to be awkward. I would just, if you make eye contact or walk by each other. Now, here's the thing. I wouldn't ignore. If we hmm. walked by each other or made eye contact, mm -hmm. I wouldn't ignore. I would acknowledge. But I'm not going to go out of my way to find that person <laughs> Don't do and that. say hi. Yeah, that's what I meant. Is what I meant by that. I get that. It, what do you talk about? You just say how you don't. J you don't say anything. So you if say, you give a hug and then you bounce back from the hug and you're all standing there. All right. You just say nice seeing you. Hope all is well. Mm -hmm. I'd start walking off after the hug slowly. Maybe like, you already have a plan. Like, oh, I'm headed to the restroom. <laughs> it's so it's nice seeing you. Hope you. Yeah. yeah. Just hope you're doing well. Just say, hey, I gotta go take a big old shit. <laughs> hey, malt, you, malt drippy. Malt drippy, baby. <laughs> and then say malt drippy and see what they say. 
Yeah, just say Malt Jirupi. And that's it. And they'll go, do you listen to the Vower podcast? Yeah, I'm a rock fucker. <laughs> and then maybe you guys will all start fucking. That'd be wild. What if? That sounds like fun. <sighs> fucking other people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maggie, how many people would you fuck in one day? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Just one. Just one. Keep it at one. Keep yeah. it classy. Yeah. One every 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. Have you guys ever fucked anybody in the span of 24 hours? Like no. Like two people? No, but I'm still young. Mm-mm. Yeah, we have life to live. I have a full life to live, and I'm not done living. And we have dicks to <laughs> sit. To ride. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we're having a hoot today without Brett here. <laughs> oh, it's so nice not saying lean back and, hey, Brett, it's your dad. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to say, though. It is. I love saying it. People are going to say, I miss Brett. Oh. I love saying, telling Brett, it's your dad lean back. Yeah, the when he says he's not going to talk and then just talks the whole time. I know. Bless his heart. He, he doesn't know what he's saying or doing. He has no clue. People are like, Brett, lean off on the pen. <laughs> I know. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo Commercials. Hey, honey's me here. Taking care of your health doesn't have to be hard. Okay, it doesn't. It should be simple. That's why for the last two years, I've been drinking AG1. Just one scoop, you guys, mixed with water once a day in the mornings makes me feel fancy. And here's why I feel fancy, okay? I like to do my healthy stuff in the mornings and kind of like start my day. You know what I'm saying? And it's easy. I just one scoop in some water every day. I chug it down. You're done. Listen, AG1 delivers my daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics. And that's what's most important to me because you guys know them shrimps be singing. Okay. And more. You guys, it's a powerful, healthy habit that's also powerfully simple. And for me personally, it's easy to take on the road. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to take a bunch of bottles and, and a bunch of vitamins and this and that and that when I'm doing shows. This is one pack I have to take. They also come in like little sample pack or little like travel packs. But you guys, you can take them to work. And I love it because it's it's easy to take on the road with me. You know, it's easy to travel with. I don't want to be taking a bunch of pill bottles, a bunch of vitamin bottles, you know, taking this and that and a bottle of this and a bottle of that. No, 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 no. I just take my AG1. You guys can take it to work. You got a little weekend trip. You don't have to pack everything up, all your vitamins. Just take your AG1. It's convenient. If there's one product, you guys... One product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1. And that's why we've partnered with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership over your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply (laughs) of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at Drink ag1.com slash viral that's drink ag1.com slash viral check it out get those singing shrimps under control i know um let's see here oh we've got a couple things oh let me announce um rock fucker of the week this week's rock fucker of the week um we pick someone randomly to interact who interacts with our viral podcast social media um, if you like, share, comment, whatever, we pick someone at random and Maggie will get your, uh, t-shirt size information and we'll send you a free viral podcast t-shirt. We've also got new drops coming, baby. Malt droppy, baby. Droplets left and right. Be on the lookout. We've been working hard on that. So be on the lookout at go to viralpodcast.co. This week's rock fucker is... Stephanie A. Stephanie A. Bom, 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 bom. Love you, girl. Thank L- you so honeys. much for just clicking and clacking. We love it when you guys click. Oh. We love okay. it when you guys click and tap. We really appreciate we that. we do need to take over the world. 
And so we need all the super spreaders and the click and clackers and the rock fuckers the more, and the honeys. Exactly. The more you guys click, the more you guys super spread, the the more we can all take over the world together. Mm-hmm. We're in this together. And not just here in this room. You guys, you know, listening and watching, you're a part of this. You think you're not? Yeah, you are. Imagine listening to us <laughs> if you didn't. <laughs> like, I can't believe people listen sometimes. Oh, and they're just driving in their car listening. Oh, the people that randomly clicked on this on Spotify have already clicked out. <laughs> no, some people stay. They, <laughs> which is amazing. The cool people. The cool people. The lo- the losers are gone. Yeah. The losers maybe enjoy the first ten minutes, but after that, after that rat bastard th- incident <laughs> I pulled, they're gone. Yeah. If you are not listening, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, if you're not listening to the podcast right now, fuck you. You rat bastard. Oh, man. You know what cuss word I've been saying a lot? What? Sack of shit. Oh, that's a good one. Y'all uh-huh. sack of shit. I'll be driving and somebody will cut me off and I'll just be like, you sack of shit. I'll start screaming. That's a good one. And it feels good to say. Absolutely. I've been saying a weird, just something really weird that it doesn't even make sense. And mm. I use it for everything. Mm. Yabba dow. Like if something. <laughs> like, Ma'am. If I'm Ma'am? telling even Brett to be quiet, like if he's talking, I'll go yabba dow, yabba dow, yabba dow. And we're like. <laughs> If something looks good, like a plate of food, I'll go, yeah, but Dow. What's that mean? I don't know. Wow. Sometimes I'll just click on the words that I make up in my head. Do you think maybe that's a side effect of the vape? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I've been doing this pre-vape. <laughs> this is pre-vape, yeah, but Dow. Okay. okay. Uh, well, yeah, but Dow is new, but yeah. the words I've been coming up with. Interesting. You'll be saying it here shortly. Okay. I'm sure I will before this podcast is over. It'll okay. be my new thing. You know what it is? Yabba dow. <laughs> yeah. Yabba dow. It yeah. can mean anything. I think because oh it's been, I've, I've been learning Chinese kind of. So Okay. I that does not sound like a Chinese word. <laughs> Some of them are uh, in there. <laughs> what if yabba dow was a Chinese word? Well, those are all kind of words mm. in Chinese and Mandarin, but not used like that. Okay. But what were you going to say? Well, all the rock fuckers are like, damn, they added a new word. We can barely keep up with the Mount Leaky, Mount Sticky, Count your Blessings. Who can barely keep up? <clears throat> yeah, it would be like that sometimes, though. Hey, before we move on to another call, um, you pick what we're going to do next. Okay, sure. So the uh, next segment we had planned for today was uh, Two Truths and One Lie. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Two truths, one lie. Oof. Okay. You want me to go first? Yes. Okay. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Two truths and a lie. Here we go. Okay. Two are true and one is a lie. Paige, which one is a lie? Oh. <clears throat> Got it. I hate pomegranates. I don't. Like the color yellow, and I hate apples. Do you know? Do you know which one? I don't think so. Oh, I may have gotten you. Um, which one's the lie, bitch? You maybe you don't like biting in apples a certain way, but like, um, I know that you like apples because I know you want to try something with the apples and the. What are you talking about? I know you want to try some the jelly or apple something. thing, so I know you don't okay. hate apples. Okay. I should have been more pacific with that one, but okay. So I'm feeling like that unless you... You've been wearing yellow lately unless you're going to say it's green. Oh, okay. Okay. Could try and trick you here. I know you don't like pomegranates. Hmm. Or do I? Hey, can you be more specific on your apple thing? Pacific. Be more Pacific. Okay, I'll be more Pacific. I don't like sliced raw crisp apples. Now, apple pie, love. Apple butter, love. Apple flavor things, love. Okay, then I'm just going to say you don't, was it you don't like apples? You said that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say that's your thing. That's that- the lie? Oh, wait. That would be the truth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or how do we play this? You said you hate the color yellow? Yeah. I hate the color, or no. I don't like the color yellow. I hate pomegranates and I hate apples. Which, two are true. Which one is the lie? Ooh, 
Okay, you the yellow. You like yellow. Gotti, you got you got me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay. Well, we a little sound sound bite or something. I gotta scroll like hold six. On. Hold on, let Maggie hold scroll. On. Hold on, she's scrolling. Here we go. Wait. Here we go. Oh. Hold on. That feels. So that's good. not the one I wanted to that, do. That was fine. But keep going. Here we go. Hold on. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, let's oh, go. Yeah. So I like. I, I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. <laughs> so I love apple, like I, like I just said, apple pie and stuff. But like in terms of like taking an apple and slicing it and just eating that, I don't like. Yeah, I know you don't like that. Um, I hate. I do hate pomegranates. I know that. And I I do like the color yellow. <laughs> I I got that because I just I just had a big old yellow jacket that I wore the other day. Yeah, so I was, was thinking, okay, is that yellow or green? Because it was like very tennis ball color, and some people could say that's yellow. Like a neon. Yeah, yeah, that color's confusing. Did I tell the podcast that my dad got in a car accident? I feel like you did. Am I tripping, though? Because I feel like our real life and the podcast life mer- meshes together, and it's hard to know. I don't think so. Not on here. I just remember talking to okay. her about it. Oh, yeah. Well, he got a little rear-ended. Hard. Just, yeah, when you don't expect it, like a mile away from their house, you know, in yeah. San Diego. Drunk driver hit him. So don't drink and drive. No, Jesus Christ. Because my dad's neck is malt stiffy. He's just walking around like <gasps> like a damn Sad. robot. A robot. Has he been going to the chiropractor? Yeah, he's like on some schedule to go get popped and like stretch his neck and well, stuff. Well, he's such a healthy fit dude and and he's so healthy and, and, <clears throat> and I don't know what the word is, vile. That's not a right, that's not the right word. For his age, how old is he? 77. 77 and he, you'd think he's 50, you know what I mean? So f- to be 77 and be in perfect health and then ha- all of a sudden this happens and you can't, you can't freaking hardly walk or move, like that's, ugh, come yeah. on. And it's so selfish to just drink and drive. Oh, and the driver just got out and started running and a whole damn thing, but yeah. he's doing okay, just... Just watch out for freaking yeah. drunk drivers, man. And you guys send Alan some positive vibes. Some titty DMs. He would yeah. love that. Send him some clip pics. Yeah, he'd love that. What if he just started getting all these clits? He'd love it. <laughs> he he know he would know where they came from. Oh, yeah. He w- wouldn't even have to think twice. Okay. All right. Two truths, one lie. Oh, shit. Um, somebody threatened to stab me in real life. Okay. Um, I farted in a mason jar and I was in FBLA. What's that? Future Business Leaders of America. (laughs) That's something you do, but okay. And what's one more? Um, wasn't that three? That was two. That was three. Wait, what? Okay. So somebody threatened to stab me in real life. Okay. I farted in a mason jar. Okay, that's two. And I was in FBLA. I thought you farted in a mason jar in FBLA. Oh, no. That's where I thought. Okay. No, two separate. Okay. <laughs> so, what the that's, fuck? that's what I was like, whoa. And FBLA was in high school. Yeah. That's like a class you could take. Okay. I think that's true. You were in FBLA. So it's I'm left with two. I'm left with you farted in a mason jar, which is something you totally do. Now, I farted in a Mountain Dew bottle, but never a mason jar. So, and your other one is someone threatened to stab Stab. you. Yeah. Hmm. In real life. Okay. I feel like that's too specific to not be true. So, I think you're trying to trick me by assuming that you did fart in a mason jar, and I think that's the lie. What's the lie? Mason jar fart. That I've never farted uh-huh. in a messenger? Uh-huh. Correct. Yes! Oh, my mm. God. Mm. Mm. Hey, process of elimination, bitch. Yep. And I can't believe I've never farted in a mason jar. That's all I've ever wanted See? to do. <laughs> but you farted in things. Have I? Have you ever farted in a bottle or nothing? I've just farted out things. I've never farted in things. When me and Greg first started dating, I think I've told this story on the pod. Yeah, you put your Mountain Dew cap. Well, we were like, oh, we, we if we fart in this bottle, we wonder if if we close the lid, if days later it would still be the fart would be in there. Yeah, we fart. I farted in a Mountain Dew bottle, 
put the lid on. We came back like three or four days later. That motherfucker was fresh and ripe as if it just came out of my asshole. <laughs> oh, gosh. If Mountain Dew would just last that long. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Whoa. So tell I me, wonder tell what me. it is. Just the, um, what is it like? What's the gas that the methane? Could you like maybe make it a whip it? I don't know. I haven't, I'm not a scientist. I haven't, I don't have that scientific mind. I just fart in bottles. You, I wonder if it could get you high. If you sucked enough farts out, I, you'd probably feel something. Some type of way. Even if it was nausea. Even if you felt like you are going to die. <laughs> At so, least you're feeling. Hold on. Tell me about someone threatening to stab you. Remember when I went to Mammoth to do that fake fall out yeah. of bowling alley to prank Tony Hawk or whatever the hell? Yeah. Um, I was sitting in the hotel room. Me and this guy, you know, we I shared a room with a couple people, but we went back early and we're both upstairs like getting ready to go to... Fuck. No, I'm just kidding. We're, we were sleeping. And this girl comes in. She was, I think, dating a super famous guy in L.A. at the time. But she was fucking wild. Do you know who the famous guy was? No, okay. I would have to figure it out. But okay. she was wild. She came in the room when we were about ready to go to bed. And I just hear her downstairs fighting with her boyfriend trying to get up to the upstairs to me and this other dude. And she goes... I'm going to fucking kill him. I'm going to stab him. And she like had a knife. She got out her knife out of her purse. And I'm sitting there her- hearing her saying she's going to come upstairs and kill the people. And I go, who, me? <laughs> did That's you a- tell me about this? I feel the- like maybe you had. I think I did. I was like, who, who, me? Why was she, she- wanting to stab you? Uh, Maybe just, just had a couple had- too many drinks. Had a bad night. Had a bad night and just wanted to stab somebody. And I guess me and the other dude upstairs were it. Damn, dude. Imagine just getting ready for bed and then she's down there trying to get up to the stairs and has her knife. What would no. you do? I, I, don't know. I, I don't know. I've never been in that situation. Because me and the guy were like, <clears throat> wait, is she trying to stab us? <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, she was, oh my gosh, she was insane. I would have found something in the room to like scare her with or, or I don't know. Well, it's crazy because all that night I was hanging out with her before we went and like had Thai food and we were all going around together as a group. And then that night she wanted to stab me. So it's like, you never know who you're with. Malt crazy. You never know who to trust. You never know. Malt crazy, baby. Oh my God. Let's uh, Let's do another call before we get into... <laughs> Trivial. Trivial. Hey, honey, family drama's here. Ooh. It's in the past, but it's happened. So my uncle's wife was helping this Catholic priest who had broke his leg, helping him around his house, cooking dinner, blah, blah, blah. So she ends up fucking the guy and leaving my uncle for the priest. And the priest got kicked out of the church, and they had to move to a whole nother town. Super crazy. Not sure if that's common. But, yeah. <laughs> Family drama. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. I'm Love sorry. You, when he said, I'm not sure if that's common, <laughs> that fucking common. got me. <laughs> hey, it's probably more common than you think. <laughs> yeah, most people just probably don't get caught. That's not the common part is getting caught, maybe. You know what's funny is not too long ago, Libby told me that her biggest sexual fantasy was to fuck a priest. Yeah, that, was, that one was weird. I'm like, why? Because she, because you know you can't have it. Well, you can have it. Well, <laughs> I think she said is because uh, <clears throat> the reason why is because they were always like, uh, she had a reasoning for she it. She went because, to Catholic school. Uh-huh, and, and they were always like the provider. Like authoritative the, and she just always had a thing for them. Yeah, because they hmm. were the ones taking care of her i guess and i go man now that you and once she said that i go now that you got me thinking about that i would fuck a priest too oh that priest would get the pulsating pussy (laughs) that triple p they probably get so much ass already (laughs) yeah and let's just hope it's not freaking what little boy little boy's ass oh god that's a whole nother (laughs) podcast that's a whole nother we're Ram, talking about yeah. adults. Yeah, we're, I'm sorry Consensual. about that. That's just all I think about when I think I priest mean, or bishop, and it's fudged up to oh, be abs- thinking that. But. Absolutely. Have you guys seen that? Um, there's a documentary on Netflix called um, 
Dang it. Hold on. Yeah, you get that going. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves because okay. it's this, it's worth knowing and shouting it out. Yeah. You got to shout clout this documentary. Maggie, there were some documentaries you told <clears throat> me to watch, and I freaking still need <clears throat> to watch them. Oh, I can't remember the names of them. Okay, this one is called The Keepers. It's on Netflix. It is about a nun who was murdered in Baltimore, and it is... Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm writing it to my list. It is the craziest saddest documentary i've watched it probably three or four times it will just make you oh my god if you have not watched the keepers on netflix Mm -hmm. add it to your list if you're listening it is insane okay and it makes my blood boil but it was like a couple years ago rewatch it i need to rewatch it rewatch it when did it come out 2017 Ooh, it is insane it is i'm like mm. It's wild. Okay, I wrote it down. Yeah. My list is getting really long. I know when you start knocking off that list. I know you said you wanted me to wait to watch something with you. So uh, on her list is Night at the Roxbury, and I said wait because I want to watch that with you because that's my favorite movie of all time. Okay, I'll make sure my phone's down. I'll put it and, in the lockbox. We will watch it. Night at the Roxbury. Because I've watched Roxbury. in and out but I actually need to focus on it and catch every line. We'll huh? focus. Okay. We'll, we'll focus on it. Okay. Let's do that for sure. We will focus on that. Because there's some lines I just miss. We'll get I know all the lines. In regards to this call. Sorry about your uncle. That, <laughs> can you imagine though that you're like, oh my my wife went to go help this priest who was hurt and he fucked her. Well, can you imagine just thinking your wife's out doing the Lord's work, but she's out there fucking the priest? Well, that is the Lord's work. Maybe she was helping him with his third leg. That's what she was doing. Not the broken one. Yeah, that's exactly what she was doing. Yeah. Yeah, Third leg got in the way and moved Auntie away. Yeah. Wow, dude. I wonder if he became a priest at his next location or it's like they have a little list that says. I don't know. You did something wrong. I I think they like to cover a lot of stuff up and let you just move and pretend nothing happened. It's <laughs> That was in the last city. We're good. Right, right, right. Yeah. Really? Yep, yep. What's it called if you do get kicked out of a church? Exile, exiled? Or no, that's I don't know. something wrong. I don't know. Hmm. I know that's if you get kicked off of Survivor Island. Sometimes I wish we had a Jamie. Jamie. To look shit up. Yeah. Jamie, look yeah. up exiled. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's supposed to be Brett, but Brett's. this is Brett when we need him to look some up. This is Brett. We don't even know where he is. Oh, I'll do imaginary typing with my hands up in the air, and he still will look at me like, what the fuck does that mean? I'm like, it means type up no. what we're talking about. So. Um, Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. It's so annoying when you're trying to shove all your things in your luggage and you just don't have any room. Not with base, baby. And base has saved my ace. I'm all about that base, about that base. No trouble. Base is a travel bag that every human needs when they're traveling. This bag is sleek, has multiple pockets, all the pockets you could wish for on the inside, the outside. A little something about me is that I like to overpack on vacations and I never have a big enough bag to hold all my items, my makeup, my computer, my iPad, all my little gadgets that I just like to bring with me. I don't know what I would do without it now that I have it. Base has luggage and bags in all different sizes, colors, you name it. So head on over and get your base bag today, right now. Base is offering our listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash viral. Go to basetravel.com slash viral for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S travel dot com slash viral. Uh, Maggie, do you have that um, uh, trivial button ready to go? Mm -hmm. I'd say push it. What do you say? Get trivy. Get trivial. Uh, Get trivy. Get trivial. Uh, Fuck me. uh, Get trivy. Get trivial. Ooh. Ooh. Exiled means 
of a person having been expelled and barred from one's native country, typically or for political or punitive reasons. Okay. So. So, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Are we ready for some trivia? Spin that wheel. Here we go, baby. Mount Licky. Ooh. Super Bowl, yellow, the Super Bowl. All righty, how y'all doing? Oh, oh hold on, turn Biffy's right. mic on. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can, Biffy. Good, good, good. good we good. are ready. Can you hear me After now? After last week's win, how many times has the Kansas City Chiefs played in the Super Bowl? And as a bonus, how many times have they won thus far? I know they've won at least once. I'm going to say that they have won. Okay. So how many times have they won and how many times have they been to the Super Bowl? Ever. Correct. I'm going to say they've been to the Super Bowl four times. I'm going to say six times. I'm going to say they've been, um, I'm going to say that they have been seven times. Okay, can we get that question, that answer, at least? The Chelsea was correct. The answer is six. Oh. And that was random. And for the bonus, oh, oh, how many times have they won? I think that they have won four. I'm going to say three. Chelsea is correct. Ooh, With the shit. bonus coming in hot. Boom, boom, boom. Mount Leaky, baby. Okay. Oh, shit. Duct tape? The prize Ma'am? is duct tape. That's not a bad gig. Ma'am? We always need duct tape, though. Okay, hold on. If you are listening to the audio and you're not listening to the YouTube or watching the YouTube, Beth, as a prize, just bought me just brought me a double pack. <laughs> what is that? Turn her mic off. <laughs> she's, she's over there squirting. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. A double pack of duct tape. Beth, did you just find this in the garage? Um, am I back on? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to be real honest with you. I wasn't expecting anyone to actually get that bonus, so I just grabbed whatever was next to me. Wow. So and you, it was two rolls of duct tape. So you had no faith in us. Correct. No faith. Well, shit happens, and duct tape is actually expensive. Yeah, so thank you, Biffy. That You're was welcome. probably like twenty one fifty. Yeah, probably. I don't know. So thank you, Biffy. All right, Paige. <clears throat> oh, spin. spin. Malt spinny, baby. Um, crime, crime, blue crime, blue waffles. Who was the vice president of the United States when the Watergate scandal was uncovered? Didn't we just have this one with Brett? We did. Did he? He didn't check it off then. No. Sorry about that. Didn't. Hold on, because he gave <laughs> you, us the answer and you guess got who it don't right. Know. I think last time I think you got it right. Or. Well, yeah, you did. He said you were close. Well, he asked who the president was during that, and I said Nixon. But vice president, I don't know. I thought you said like Ford or something. Was it Ford? It was Ford. Okay, I did get yeah. that right. Or maybe it was. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Well, we'll get maybe it to I you. just got it right. Good one, Brett. <laughs> okay. Sorry, all these. You want to go Brett's again, Paige? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Paige is gonna malt spinny again. Big wheels keep on turning. S- turning. Super, all right. Super Bowl yeller. How many times have the 49ers won the Super Bowl? Come on, man. Five. That is correct. Nice, Chelsea. <laughs> Damn. Just throwing out numbers. These are all guesses, by the way. <laughs> I know nothing about football. Uh, Spin. Okay. Spin. Here we go. Malt Spinny, baby. Maybe you need to go play some roulette today. The U.S. The U.S. What sport was featured on the first curved U.S. coin in 2014? What um, sport was um, featured on the first coin? Um, what's it called? Um, what badminton? No, oh. when you when you throw Cro- uh, croquet. No. no, when you throw what? a javelin. A no. javelin. Polo. No. Fencing. No. This is America's sport. Curling. Oh. Okay. Can Football. we just say tennis? Nope. Baseball. Baseball. Oh shit! <laughs> I love that we're saying everything that. It, it's also, where are your sport. buzzards? Oh, <gasps> we're dumb as hell. Where's our buzzards? <laughs> buzzards dude let's get our buzzards buzz aldrin we forgot about him i can't believe we forgot about our buzzards dude, that's out of buzzards <laughs> nah, i hit it makes me crave a blizzard oh yeah the Should cotton we... candy blizzard no hey, we get, another one we can't get a super bowl again, okay, so again. stop it on that pop culture red pop, pop culture pop, culture. pop, pop this pussy um 
These are also Brett's old questions. An album has sold how many units in the UK to be considered platinum? Five million. No. Lower. A million. Nope. Okay. 100,000. Um, the answer is 300,000. And I apologize to anyone in the UK if that information is incorrect. These are Brad's questions. That is so, ra- such a random number. I know. Who comes up with all these things? Oh. Somebody. Okay. Is it your turn? Mm, or my you. turn? Okay, here we go. Crime, crime. Mm. Here we go. In the UK, what percentage of crimes are committed by men? 90%. No. 60. Mm-mm. Want to try again? 80. It is 80%. <sighs> I was going to say 80. Dang. So, whoa. What's it here in the U.S., the crime, would you say? Like, I don't know. 90% men? I don't know. I don't I, know. I definitely know men be killing. Yeah. <laughs> a I mean, little extra than women. Just a little extra. Women kill too, but men... Like to do it a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I think it's because their balls need to be released. I don't know if it has or anything her to do with their gun's gonna be released. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if it has anything to do with their balls or what. Uh, there's a lot of people that study that, but yeah, they definitely do be doing stuff. Well, what are they studying? Are they ever gonna come up with a answer? I don't know. And I've always loved. Like I watched this documentary when I was like 20 about this lady who studies like serial killer brains and stuff and I go god that is so interesting that is so such a cool job to like I don't know I love that stuff just to figure out which wire was in the wrong spot for the person to commit the crime he committed right so all right your turn that would be interesting here we go okay spins I hope we get country music okay well oh Justin's beaver all right, we got this category, Justin's Beaver. Here Justin's we go. Justin's Beaver. Within two months of its release, Justin Beaver's nail polish line has sold approximately how many bottles? Damn. You go. You hit it. Two million? Incorrect. 500,000. The answer is one million. God, I was going to go with your gut, people. I was going to say a million. I was going to say that. Just go with your gut. Mm-hmm. Why have I not been going with my gut? You were on those first. I know. So <sighs> All right, stick here we go. with it. Here we go. Okay, the office. I've never seen the office. You, you can go to the country, country. music. <laughs> Are you, you spending it? Landed on the office. You need to answer an office question. <laughs> Don't be spinning it back. <laughs> I already know we're going to get a comment. Mm. All right, ready? Which are the two dominant instruments in honky tonk country music? Ooh, that was close. Um, Hurry, because I got it. Oh, okay, I'm going to say a fiddle. You motherfucker. That is one. You motherfucker. <laughs> and a fucking... Get the next one. Well, I'm trying to think a steel guitar. You Correct. Motherfuck- I'm shocked you knew that. Dude, I'm shocked because I kind of just guessed. She got it. I'm in shock. Me too. <laughs> That's that, that year you- in Nashville. I'm shocked she knew that. Because I thought for sure when you buzzed, when you buzz, when you did a buzzard, uh-huh. I thought, this bitch don't know this. And, and you got it. And you were right, but then it came out. I think it's because we met, like, the number one fiddler in Nashville, and yeah, he was did. just kind of telling me, and I won't come to me, it's yeah. all around the fiddle, so I just said it. Yeah. We did meet a, a fiddle guy in mm-hmm. a thrift store. How do you even go about fiddling? You just start. <laughs> that is so wild that people know these instruments. I know. Like a big old cello? That would be so cool. Or, no, a big harp. I know. Remember Elizabeth Smart just loved her harp? Mm Mm-hmm. I've always loved a good harp. Beautiful. Yeah. If you can play the harp, let us know. We might have you as a guest. Oh, my God. (laughs) To play a harp as we're doing our segments? (gasps) If you play the harp, and they got to bring a harp too. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we we're not, we're not going to provide one. Well, yeah, we don't have <laughs> right. one. Those things are big. I bet it couldn't even fit in here. Oh, you could probably if, get a small one. If you play the harp, let us know. Everyone's going to be like, I play the harp. I know. Harp lessons. Yeah. 
Okay, a couple more. Harsh Ready? lessons. Oh, I just went. You go. Oh. Here we go. Pop culture. Pop, pop culture. Here we go. <clears throat> what is Ozzy Osbourne's first name? Oh, fuck. Ozzy. Uh, Jeff. I mean, that's just guess. <laughs> no. Um, Mount Gessie. Like Justin. <laughs> nope, but it does start with a J. Jeffrey. Jonathan. Jackson. Um, ja- uh, no, Jackie. no, no. Joel. No. Try the most basic one. James. John. John. <sighs> John. Oh, I swear I said Jonathan, but. So it's Johnny Osborne? His full name is John Michael Osborne. John Michael. Hmm. Yeah, that's a very white name. Ose! 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 John Michael Osborne. John Michael Montgomery, you know who that is? I swear that the man in the moon and disappear. No, (laughs) ma'am. All right, one more. Here we go. And I swear. Uh, Spin again, okay? Movies and TV. Movies and TV. Here we go. Mm, Here we go. Killian Murphy plays a 1900s mob boss in Birmingham, England. In which streaming series? Uh, uh, Peaky Blinders. That's correct. <laughs> what the frick? Peaky Blinders. Peaky I fucking didn't blinders. even know what the hell she was saying. And listen, I have never watched that show. I tr- Y'all have told me how good it is. I tr- have tried to watch it. But their accents are so strong that I couldn't, I didn't know what they were saying. And I can't watch subtitles. I can't do it. You'll get used to it, though. If you can get past the first couple episodes, I feel like you'll get used to it. Used to their voice or subtitles? To their voice. Gosh, I like subtitles. I hate them. Like, it's not that I hate them. I, I actually like them. They were just so strong that I... I didn't know what they were saying at all. It was so hard for me to keep up with what was going on because I was like, I don't know what they're saying. Dude, I yeah. can't even understand Steve Harvey. <laughs> I truly can't. Then don't watch Peaky Blinders. There's a lot of people I just can't understand at all. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Hey, honeys, January has come and gone, but it's not too late to start your New Year's resolution. Oh, Chelsea, it's way past January. I, it's, too, it's too much into the year. That don't matter, okay? And I'm not talking about getting tangled in an elliptical or eating some crappy, depressing salads. You guys, here's one that'll stick. Smell better naked. Thanks to our sponsor, Lumi. You can smell good with or without clothes all year long. Lumi is a game-changing whole body deodorant designed by an OBGYN to work not only on the pits, but also feet. And like I said, you can stick it everywhere, baby. And I do. New customers get 15% off all Lumi products with our exclusive code and link. That's over 40% off their starter pack too. Use code VIRALPOD for 15% off your first purchase at LumiDeodorant.com. L-U-M-E-D-E-O-D-O-R-A-N-T.com. Listen, I know you've been wanting to try Lumi. Now's the time. Get your discount. 15% off all Lumi products with our exclusive code and link. That's over 40% off their starter pack, too. Use code VIRALPOD for 15% off your first purchase at LumiDeodorant.com. L-U-M-E-D-E-O-D-O-R-A-N-T dot com. Wonderful, so. wonderful. Well, let's do, should we do maybe uh, enough a call, maybe one or two more calls, right? Oh, I'll see. Sure. Right. Ooh. Maggie, let's do, enough, let's do enough call, right? <clears throat> hey, honeys. So I have some advice here. Um, 
I am actually kind of, not really, well, I am kind of new. I'm on episode 30, and uh, I just heard someone talking about hemorrhoids, and I have some hemorrhoids too, um, but I was going to tell you how to get rid of the hemorrhoids. Um, if you sprinkle some sugar on your hemorrhoid, it will, you could literally feel it get, like, sucked back into your butthole. Mm -hmm. I had one that was, like, so painful, bleeding, everything. My bestie, shout out to Samantha, literally took a spoon and sprinkled some sugar on my butthole, and I could feel it go back in my butthole. And I didn't have a hemorrhoid anymore. So... There's your 411 on hemorrhoids. Have a good day. <clears throat> That's taking ass eating to a new level. You're sprinkling <laughs> sugar on it. Dude, I don't know why, but all that came to my head was, she put that sugar on my bum. I don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know that damn song? Uh -uh. Unbelievable. No. Um, I wonder how this started. I bet it started by someone had hemorrhoids and they wanted their ass eaten. And their partner was like, listen, I got to put something on there. Just sprinkle some sugar on I'm, top. I'm just going to sprinkle some sugar. And the, they were probably shocked when they saw that hemorrhoid just dissolving. <laughs> just like right in front of their eyes. Just oh. That's kind of like magic for real. Just if sugar can make shit disappear. Right. right. And we've been trying to get hemorrhoids uh, gone for a long right. time using all these medical mm -hmm. uh, procedures and... I've ne I've never had a hemorrhoid in my life. Have you? I've never had one, but people are always asking me how to get rid of them, Think, you, thinking you, I've had them. You know a lot about buttholes, though. Yeah, but I know just to take. A lot of people take like Brahma, mm -hmm. Bromelain. It's over the counter, and I know that does it. But sugar is probably way cheaper. If you could just get a cup full of sugar on your anus, why not? Maggie, you've had a hemorrhoid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, next. Hey, now try it, you guys. Next time, what can you? What will it hurt? Yeah, you won't. What, what's there to lose? What's there to lose? Wow, what a great information. What a great. What a great little last call to end the pod. I wonder how sugar is just turning her asshole inside out. That's science, baby. I want to see that happen in front of my eyes, Maggie. <laughs> let me pour the sugar on your asshole if you get another hemi. I'll yeah. let you. Yeah. We can record it. Next time anyone yes. has a active hemorrhoid. <laughs> a little hemi flare. We're doing it. Okay. We're trying it. Okay. How do you get them just sitting on the toilet pushing too much, too much walking? I don't know. Could be anything, I think. From lifting heavy stuff or pushing. Yeah. God. Yeah. I've never had one. What's coming out? Just skin, I think. Your butthole. A little tag. Yeah, but they're big. Tags are always coming out, like, out of your shirt, out of your asshole, bra. <laughs> Stop. Tags are I, always coming out. I Tags. get pissed off if there's a photo of me. Like, you know, I'll be like, Brett, can you take all these photos of me and my tag will be hanging out? And he doesn't even tell me. Yeah. Like, come yeah. on, do better. Like, Yeah, that. you got to do better, man. Yeah, that guy's making people squirt and you can't even <laughs> tell me my tag's hanging Dude, out. Dude, he's not even here and we're telling him to do better. <laughs> He's not here, and we're telling him to do better. We don't even mm -hmm. know where he's at. Gosh. Oh, was that really the last call? Or we had one no. more in the berry. No, oh, that was the, the that was the last call, babe. That was the last yeah. call. You guys come well. see me on tour. Um, we'll see you on the cruise. What else, Mont Leaky, baby? We'll see you on the cruise. Don't forget to call in and check out our yes. Instagrams and our all of our platforms. Just click, like naturally, what we've been saying the whole time. Uh, click. And our phone number, oh, I'm sad. We'll see yes. you next Tuesday, guys. Yes. Our number is 442-777-3331. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Hey. Hey. Mount Lakey, baby. Oh, my armpits smell like tacos, dude, for real.